I'm back already. Who would have thought, right? <laughs> well, I just wanted to pop in and explain my challenge to you all because it's the very first challenge of the day. I am so not a morning person, so as you might have already guessed, I'm actually recording this video ahead of time. Shh, don't tell anybody. <laughs> anyway, I just wanted to let you know what my challenge was before you took a look at the still photos and that sort of thing that I've included. I didn't make a process video because that's really not my thing, but I thought it might be fun for me to at least explain the challenge and then to let you see it um, after the fact. Okay, so the challenge is pretty simple. I want you all to make a project, now that could be any format, any size, to make a project where you scrapbook about something that you read that touched you in some way. It could be about a book that you read recently or 20 years ago that was powerful to you and that has stuck with you. It could be a book that you hated or a book that you loved. But it doesn't have to be a book. It could be about a short story that you read or a children's book that you remember reading aloud to your children when they were small. Maybe it's the first time you read a book that you actually loved that you want to share. Maybe it's a poem that touched you somehow. It could even be a magazine article or a comic book or any number of things that either inspire you or excite you or frighten you or challenge you or anything that has had some kind of an impact on you. I'm actually starting a new project about my love for reading. I know there are several of you that I am friends with, is that what you call it? That I'm friends with on Goodreads. And I have been on a crazy reading jag lately. I set my goal for 2018 at 30 books to read because, you know, hello, I'm an English teacher. I need to read books, right? And I'm way happier when I'm reading, but I'm kind of uncontrollable right now with my reading habits. It's only the beginning of May and I've already read 28 books. How crazy is that, right? Now, I think part of it is probably driven by the fact that I have canceled my cable. And so I'm watching less mindless television. I'm actually thinking about when I turn the TV on and what's on in the background and that sort of thing more than I used to. But I also think that part of it is that I've really developed a love for reading on my tablet. And so that has made getting library books and that kind of thing really easy. And I love reading great things for free, right? That's like a win-win, reading and free. So, you know, that's kind of where I am in my life right now. I had decided a few weeks ago that I want to document all of the books that I read this year, that I think it would be fun to have a record of those books. And so I am planning on making a series of Traveler's Notebook inserts that focus on those books that I'm reading this year. Some of them are fiction, a few are nonfiction, some of them are like how-to books, you know, that have to do with crafts and that kind of thing. Shoot, there are even some recipe books that are on my list of things to read. It doesn't have to qualify as literature to be something that you decide to document in terms of your love of reading. I'm choosing to actually take um, like an online picture. I'm grabbing an online picture of the cover of the book and I'm printing those pictures on my sprocket because I think that that size photo works really well in a traveler's notebook size. The photo is roughly two by three and that fits nicely without, you know, taking up too much room and that kind of thing. Initially, I had considered doing one-page spreads, but then I had so much fun playing with the pretty stuff as I was making these pages for this challenge today that I thought, no, I want to do two-page spreads. And so I totally gave myself permission to do that. Now, maybe you don't read all that much. That's okay. 
It can be something that you saw in the newspaper or something you read that your children shared with you or something from an old letter that an old boyfriend sent you. Or it could be something that you go looking for today. Maybe you go looking for a quote or an article or a book and you decide, yeah, I kind of, I've kind of missed reading and maybe I want to document that. However you decide to approach it is totally fine. I have a tendency to focus on books because that's what I love so much, but I totally get that not everybody feels the same way. So the challenge is simple. Scrapbook about something that you've read that touched you in some way, recently or from a long time ago, for yourself or for someone else, a quote that really touched you or a whole piece that you want to discuss. It can be any format. My examples are traveler's notebooks, but if you'll notice, an open traveler's notebook spread is a square. So you could totally take my designs and translate those to a 12 by 12 layout if you wanted. You could also design your own pages yourself. Like scrap lifting is totally not the point. I just want to challenge you to maybe scrapbook about a topic that you haven't spent a lot of time on up until this point. Or what do I know? Maybe you're doing a great job of scrapbooking all the things that you read and that touch you, and it's just me who's kind of behind on life in that regard. I'm willing to consider that possibility. Exciting news. I'm offering two prizes. One prize for a domestic entry and one prize for an international winner. The person who lives in the contiguous United States will be chosen at random if you share your completed project in this Facebook group, in, you know, this thread by Monday, May the 7th at 10 p.m. Central Time. So that's your deadline, Monday, May 7th at 10 p.m. Central Time. I'll choose someone at random and that person will receive the class kit that uh, the, the attendees at the Grapevine Retreat received. And they'll also receive a Scrap Gals tote bag that those Grapevine attendees received as well. Now my international people, I don't wanna leave you guys out, but shipping is crazy expensive and I can't really afford to send you the same thing. <laughs> So I have chosen two Studio Calico stamps that I recently bought, um, two of each of them because I'm crazy, and I'm going to send those to you. I think I can afford that because they'll go in like kind of a small envelope. For pictures of all of the, the prizes and for pictures of my pieces that will hopefully inspire you, just scroll down and check them out. The deadline, again, if you want to be considered for the giveaways, for the, you know, the prizes, is Monday, May 7th at 10 p.m. Central Time, whether you're in the U.S. or you live abroad, and I'll choose those winners at random. Okie dokie. That's my challenge for the kickoff of International Scrapbooking Day 2018. I hope you'll play along. I can't wait to see what you make. So y'all go and be crafty, okay? Bye.